Hey everybody, the stream is starting. Trying to get the music right. How's everyone today? I personally am doing great because I have finished the major refining of the Hex Blast build. And I cannot wait to show it to y'all. That's good to hear, Ron. Hello. Okay, so, I do have a new build to show off, or I have the revised version of the build to show off. I'm not going to go into the path of building immediately. I want this to start with gameplay, and then we'll go over the actual build. Let's pick something up. Hmm, I'll do tier 12. I'm also in red maps now by the way. <laughs> as soon as I finished adding things to this build, it became a lot stronger. Let's see. That should be fine. So I'm level 91 now. Part way through it. And honestly, I got like a pretty big boost once I finished up what I was doing for the build. I needed to get a few things in order, like my gems and stuff. There's still one problem with it, where I'm using faster casting instead of void manipulation. But I'll get to that when I get to that. I need to recolor the chest plate, and that's annoying. Because... I need two blue, one green, and three red. Which, I mean, I guess that's not too bad on a blue-red chest plate, but... I don't know, it's annoying. <laughs> it's also not a very good chest plate, but... I mean, it'll be... Things will be better once I have my real chest plate, but my real chest plate is three div. And I have... Grand total of 33 chaos now. Which is definitely not enough, because divs are like 180 right now. So. I need like 500. I need at least 500 chaos before I can consider looking at my chest, my new chest plate. Otherwise, most other things are done. Finally got the right links on my tripan and moved things around so they're in the, the right order. I've moved my skills around my bar a little bit to reflect the new changes to the build. So I have properly added Wither to the build, the channeling skill. It doesn't do any damage. It is purely just to debuff enemies. And I also have my totems here. Whoa. Is it the particles from the Wildwood that is making my graphics freak out? Okay. Okay. My graphics seem to have calmed down. I don't think it. Oh, it doesn't like Wither. <laughs> as soon as I start using Wither, it's like, oh god, no. <laughs> But Wither just exists as a method to debuff things while my totems are firing. Uh, I don't really need to use it for the most part, unless I encounter a really tanky rare specifically, or if I'm fighting a map boss or just a general boss. As I get stronger, I won't even need to use it in maps at all. Oh, hello. 
Right, I need to actually put down my totems. That would help. Ow. Right, this is a tier 13. I need to be careful. I forgot about that. Darn it. I'm still not, like, stand there and ignore everything levels of prepared for this. Whoa, that was entirely user error. Wow, okay. Let's try that again. Man, I need to not just embarrass myself immediately with this build. Okay. First of all, any totems. Thankfully, I'm a totem build, so I don't have to be near anything. I just need to get myself going and running. If I have totems for things to pay attention to, then they usually ignore me. I'll come back for Cassia. Oop. The minions just spawned for the Searing Exarch, or not Searing Exarch, the Eater. I keep going to uh, cast Wither instead of activating my totems because I swapped where they were. My totems were in my right click for a long time, so my brain keeps being like, Aha! Die! <laughs> Not how that works. I find it really interesting that there's. I find it really interesting that there is a channeling skill that doesn't deal damage, at all. Like usually they deal, they at least deal like a little bit of damage or something. But now this, this has no offensive capabilities whatsoever. The uh, wither just exists to be basically you play support to your totems. Just gonna dump as much weather on him as I can. Uh, the totems can natively add uh, up to six of fifteen weather, but I want to make sure it's a bit higher than that because that's just really good for me. Weather is a lot of extra damage. It is not a small buff. It's very hard to get it too. I think most, uh, most, like, self-cast builds, so, like, uh, just most chaos damage builds that uh, don't have totems or mines or whatever, uh, actually, just most that don't have totems would be using a wither totem specifically. Because it works quite well with totems. Oh, I'm on the wrong loot filter, that's what's going on. I had the starter loot filter on because I was going through heist. So that I could see the various uh, low-level heist gear, because I still don't have very good heist gear yet. Out of curiosity, would y'all like it if I gave you a selection of things that we could do, and y'all said what you would prefer of the selection? Like, basically, I, I'm doing maps, so, like, I pick out a couple of maps, and you pick which one it is that we do. Would people enjoy that? I was just thinking, like, we could totally do that. And I might have gone quiet for like a good 60 seconds because I was thinking. <laughs> Which is so me. Huh. 
Okay. Let's get through this map first. Uh, Razor Dance is, is a freebie for me. To be a bit careful, because this is still a tier 13. And that means it is very, very, very dangerous to me. Not be slowed or stunned. Ugh, no, thank you. I have freeze. And that is... That that fits into that that level of can't be stopped basically. I believe. Beaud uh, no Razor Dance. Let's just wither the hell out of that thing. Can I hide? Kind of. Siphoning monsters, sure, whatever. I'm fine. Oh, I think I might have actually found my, my spot. Ugh. I don't want... I don't want rare monsters to have additional mods. That sounds awful. Whoa, something just hit me there. For a chunk. Mm, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> oh shit, the ring the ring's smaller, no! The ring got smaller! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, no, I'm leaving. <laughs> Fuck that! Where? Oh, I okay. There's something I don't like about this map is that there's one section the the northeastern section. That is completely separate from the northwestern section. It's like I should be able to go down here and connect to some of it, but not most of it. Yeah. So there's an entire section right below me to to connect to that I have to go all the way back up for. I don't know why they designed it that way. It's like a it's like a single door would have helped. I need to remember to not stand still for too long, because, like, standing still in this game is a death sentence. Which is what makes Wither, like, really dangerous to use. Oh. Let's get my face stuck on the doorway. <laughs> that I'm pushing my luck I'm pushing my luck <laughs> okay uh, uh. yeah so unfortunately this area down here I have to go all the way over here for all the way back up all the way around I guess I could do Cassia. I'll do Cassia if she can. If I'm not if I'm not dying, I can do Cassia. If I like start suffering, I probably will stop. Okay, so I'm gonna go cold and seismic. That should theoretically empower the last one. That is a type. That is a resistance list tower, so I'm going to put a Shock Nova and a Slow there. So that's going there. I'm going to add another Freeze tower here. 
Power up those. Ooh, something's hitting me. Don't like that. I can focus fully on this side now. Awesome. Oh, got an opalescent oil. And a mortal rage. That's 5C? 10C for the mortal rage. And opalescent is 15C. That was incredibly lucrative. Ooh. Danger. 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 I'm like so focused right now like I'm just I'm just trying not to die sorry not the best commentary I know almost done here though Oh, <laughs> the strong boxes are scary sometimes. So if y'all probably noticed, I'm now running exclusively energy shields. I have six mana. Uh, using run energy shield exclusively for mana now. Honestly, just. It made more sense to do it this way, because I have Barkskin running, I have Aspect of the Spider running, I have Determination running, and I have some Skitter bots with Unbound Ailments attached to make the Shock and Chill even more powerful. So, got a lot of things going on there that are just reserving everything. It took everything I had to make sure that I could actually reserve all that. Um, Use the mastery here and use all of sovereignty. And to get the last tiny little bit, I needed to use a mana reservation jewel here. This is ever so slightly better than the uh, Apex mode that I was using before. It enabling it, it being able to enable me to. Um, What am I trying to say? It enabling me to use Unbound Ailments gives me enough damage that it's totally worth it. Like, I, th I think I use... I think I lose actually a little bit of damage on this, but what it enables me to do is just so much better. I picked up Sleep the Sentry, so I have Onslaught if I've summoned a Totem recently, and I have Snaring Spirits, which will synergize with Touch of Cruelty, because Hindered Enemies... Take 10% increased chaos damage, and totems hinder enemies nearby when summoned. Uh, I still have a silver flask. I need to change that, because it also gives onslaught. And guess what? I have on onslaught. <laughs> oh, I have two things with chaos speed on them. That's actually not useful. What is... Oh yeah, I need to fix this, because this is only low item level 42 granite flask. I haven't seen any other granite flasks, I don't think, not yet, that are not a basalt. Yeah, I've been looking out for granite flasks, but I need to get one. I, I could just buy one, but money's tight, and I'm a stingy bitch. I have innocence. 
don't think these are worth anything. No, they're not. Okay, what are we doing here? I got a lot of things going on here. Oh, wow. I don't have any of these maps. Hmm. Can I do all these? Let's see. Yeah, I can do all these. I'm still doing some so I can catch up to, uh, so I can finish all my Atlas objectives, and then I'll be able to allocate all the points that I need and keep pushing on Ultimatum, because I have increased currency rewards on Ultimatum, and I also want to be able to get the uh, increased divina Divination card rewards, too. Well, hello, friend. So doing some of the low-level stuff is also uh, worth the money. Okay, let's see. There's a bunch of other ones too. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a white map. Uh, there are five different choices we're gonna pick from: the vault pyramid here, vault this vault pyramid. Basically, okay. Here, here let's do this. Vault Pyramid, Moon Temple, Ramparts, or Atoll. Uh, from 1 to 4, type a number in chat which one you want. Vault Pyramid is a very much like a lost... It's like a lost pyramid style. Moon Temple is like very blue and full of cold damage things. Ramparts is up on a castle of Ramparts. And Atoll is a uh, mostly watery area. Okay, Ramparts it is. Thank you for voting. I'm going to have to do like a poll feature eventually. Like, learn how to do that. I don't really know how to do that. Okay. My graphics card is loving this. Man. Uh, it does not like Delirium, apparently. I'll come back for the uh, Wild Wood. If I'm alive. Like, this play, this isn't a very high level. Like, this is really low level, but also lag can easily kill me. Because little, little monsters aren't dangerous until they have, like, 20 hits they can get off on you because you've lagged out. I'm just going to get to level 3 Delirium, and then I'm going to stop it. Okay. I'm gonna end that because my computer, specifically the stream, does not like having Delirium running, really. Not with the computer I have. My computer's great, but it's not, it's not built to stream, record, and play at the same time. It just isn't. See what we can get in here. Try, gonna try to collect a bunch of wisps since this is just a low level area, just so I can get some extra quantity and rarity and such. Oh, what did I find? Oh, an experimental harvest. Nice. These are very valuable. Yeah, that's 400 life force there. How much are these? These are 37. Okay, so this is about 11C worth of life force right there. There is no reason to even do harvest when we can just do this. <laughs> also, I like this more. I really like the wild wood. It 
uh, expansion. It's I like honestly, it's it's my favorite league that's come out in a while. I think my last the last league I liked this much probably was Heist. Just I remember like I've just done a ton of the content for this. Like I've by like day one or like by like day two, I had done more content for the Wildwood than I did for the Trial of Ancestors in the entire league. <laughs> just because I I didn't like Trial. Like I think it's a cool idea. I'm I know a lot of people liked it, and I think that's great. It's just not for me. Okay, I'm not gonna. Oh, wisps. Now kick me out. Yeah. Hmm. Should I ritual or should I not ritual? A ritual. It can't take that long to do the ritual. This is only a tier five. Yeah. No. Pick up. Anything interesting? Maybe. Cannot wait till I have consecrated ground. It's going to be a lot better for me. Not having consecrated ground hurts. Because it's going to give me a whole ton more. Um... My brain kind of stopped because I saw the 105 jeweler's orbs drop from that one monster. <laughs> I can't wait to get Consecrated Ground, because uh, that's going to be so nice. It's going to give me at least 300 more life per second, which is going to make me a lot more durable. I considered getting Pious Path, that added uh, uh, Energy Shield Regen in addition to life life regen from the consecrated ground but a i'd have to find a new way to get consecrated ground and b i no longer need it because now it's just mana regen that regenerates it i think yeah they definitely don't have that as much energy shield regen as i'm using right now like this is definitely that's definitely not how much energy shield regen i have so that must be my mana recharging it Or my mana regen recharging it. Or regenerating it, I should say, because recharging technically means something different. <laughs> Look forward to when I can more just kind of like walk through things without having to worry. I haven't gotten to the point where I could just walk through piles of enemies yet. But. Actually, I, I probably can't here. This is pretty damn low level, but. Actually, yeah, I definitely can here. I was treating this like a uh, like a red map for a moment. Yeah. With a. We there? Cool. Don't like Beyond Demons. I wish they would stop. Oh, the Kyrick mission is to complete the ritual. Oops. Oh, hello. Who are you? Archangel of Death. Beat that? Beat it. Beat it. Nope. I don't like whatever that is. Uh. Ooh. Tinted fusings are worth a lot of money, I think. Ooh, 45C, wow, okay. 
That went well. I don't technically need to be withering things, like, my, my stuff already withers stuff, but my wither is going to be, like, a lot stronger, faster, and more reliable. They maintain wither on things by, um, by hitting it a whole bunch, and the wither's wither stacks don't build up very quickly, but my wither stacks build up very fast when I cast it, so... It's just, like, in a, a way to assist it. Yeah. Uh, there's no real reason to complete the mission, because there's no real value... There's no, like, reward for completing the missions, or punishment for not, so... Not gonna bother. Buy some maps I don't have... I don't have most of these maps. I like getting new maps. Boop, 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 boop. I feel like I'm being kind of quiet today. I don't mean to be. Hmm. Ooh, Coward's Trial. Uh, hmm. Let's do a yellow map. Okay, either we're going to go for... Oh, wait, I can't do Foundry at all. Can I do this one? Oh, I can barely do that one. Okay, we're not doing yellow map. <laughs> okay, do we want to go for the Coward's Trial where we know what we're dealing with? Or do... Which is number one. Or do we want to go for the Courtyard, which is number two, which we have no idea what's on the map and could just kill us instantly? Actually, I don't think it can kill us, because Reflect doesn't hit us. It could be a royal pain in the ass. Let's put it that way. Damn it. Fine. I should have described it that way, because, like, I, I knew as soon as I did, I was like, fuck, that, that's just, they're just going to pick that. <laughs> Darn it. My good old chat gremlins. Let's pick up all the essences, then we check the primalist. What do you have to say? Ooh, that's... Percent strength is not actually all that valuable. I thought it would be, but it's not. This seems to be the only one that has any value. I, I see why, because offerings and corpse consumption. Okay, I need more blue. Blue wisps. 720, I think. Don't need a Joffrey's crown. Okay, I'm going to run back quickly and buy the thing. I don't know why these merchants are different, but for some reason I can ease, I can like use the price checker with these merchants. With the Wildwood merchants. And like I could just tell immediately whether something's valuable or not. Y'all can't see my price checker, but I, I am using one. 
I don't really have a good way of showing it right now. Yep, go away before those explosions get me. Right, I need to hit this button. I can't just I can't just cast and then they die. That's not how this works. <laughs> Working on my muscle memory. It'll it'll come to me eventually. It's just a bit weird right now. Okay, well that's the Curic mission. Oh, damn it, it's a basalt, not a granite flask. I thought that was a granite flask for a second. I'm like, yay, I don't have to buy one. No, I had to buy one. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the not-so-bad boss. That's good. I thought this was the goddess. Is this the goddess? No, it's it's the three exiles. I can deal with these. They're easy. The goddess sucks. The goddess scorned or the goddess unchained or something. The one that likes to laser you. They are no fun. Ooh, never changing. Those are valuable. I'm happy that whatever the mods are in this map, they aren't bad. We got lucky. Despite as much as I, I as much as I imagine y'all would prefer to murder me, you didn't get your option this time. Oh, I love the freeze on the Hex Blast. That's so nice. So even if things survive, like, they get locked in place very frequently. That's really nice. <laughs> and that's more or less this map. Okay, let's see what Kirak has for us now. What do you have? Sure, I'll buy mineral pools. Iceberg, Sepulter, I don't have any of those. Cool. How much is this? Like 4C. That away. Oh, apparently I already have one of these. Oh, that's a perfect one. Oh, well, like not in every way, but it is actually perfect. It has a perfect, two perfect, and one almost perfect roll on it. Two almost perfect girls, actually. Wow. That's really good. So this one is capable of this. Okay, yeah, this actually rolled... Apparently this is actually valuable because it rolled so well. Okay, let's actually do some of the maps we have now, because we have a bunch. Grab all these maps that we have that we can do. Well, that should be enough for now, anyways.
I do all these? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go to the grotto? Which is like a quarry, like one. That's number one. Moon Temple. The cold, dark moon temple. The island atoll. Or the... Uh... Castle Siege map. One, two, three, or four in chat. Okay. Going to the grotto. Okay, into the wildwood. Collect up some quantity. Collect up some currency and stuff. Lots of wisps, so I got some. That's extra stuff dropping in the map, and it's slow level, so there's no amount of empowering that could really make things too dangerous for me. Uh, I would really like those things to stop chasing me. Ooh. Oh, hello. Wildwood Abomination. Fine. Or like piece of wood to carve. Okay, out we go. Don't need to spend too much time in there. Oh, an exalted orb, nice. Why is that? Oh, it's triple empowered. That's why that wood that didn't die in one shot. Okay. No trial master. I'm not going to try to make it to the end. I'm going to try to make it as long as is worth my, my money. I won't fall for your goading. Okay. That's not a very good jam, but doesn't matter. Uh, blistering cold. Okay, this is just a slay and amount of monsters. I like Blistering Cold because you can just like walk right through the damaging things and they'll explode after you've left. Like as long as you're you have a non zero movement speed, you'll be fine. Kinda of trivializes it. Unless something locks you into place. If something locks you into place, you're in trouble. As long as nothing locks you into place, you're okay. You can just walk through them. Wait, are they triggering early now? Okay, that I can't deal with as well. Uh, you know what? Sure, they can suppress spell damage. I don't care. They're not that strong. I don't care if they take only 50% damage from me. This is still a tier 5 map. Maybe I should care. Actually, yeah, maybe no, I should care. Oh, fuck, I want those chaos orbs. <laughs> no! Uh, hmm. My auras will affect, also affect enemies. Um, that is okay, I think. Unless they get bark skin. If they get bark skin, that's bad. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for 
treacherous orcs. I think I think I can do that just fine. Oh fuck, I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Okay. <laughs> ah, that was bad for a second. I'm okay though. I think I'm okay. No. Okay, no, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Yes, it is the safe choice. I will always take the safe choice. I'm not here to risk my life for glory. I just want to make money in a reasonable manner. That's all I want. Ooh, time lost relic. Lots of currency dropping. Oh, I see a lot of these things are empowered. That's good. Um... This is getting a bit dicey, actually. Who's over there? Oh, it's a triple empowered totem. That's or not totem, but it's a triple empowered goat. That's why. Are you gonna... God damn triple empowered goats! Apparently triple empowered things are dangerous no matter what tier it is, apparently. <laughs> I think it's, I think I'm just not as durable as I could be because like I'm still missing my consecrated ground, and I my armor flask my granite flask still sucks. I could get armor rolled on that, and if I get armor rolled on that, I will be in a much better scenario. Oh, that's a triple empowered boss. Okay, I'm glad that that died without a problem, because that could have been a problem. Give me a granite flask, please. Or just more currency. Cur currency is also good. I prefer currency, actually. Because then I can buy things. Like the aforementioned granite flask. And we are getting a lot of currency. That must be from the Wildwood Empowerment. Ooh. Skeletons! I like skeletons. Go, my skeletons! Oh, I'm done. Okay, so there is... Hmm... Div card one. What's this? Oh no, I need to be able to choose my ultimate modifier. I'm not that tanky. So, uh, fuck that one in particular. Uh, should I go. I could go up here, potentially. I want to eventually get over here. And over here. Oh, I guess over here, too, so then, yeah, I should go this way. Okay, let's dump out some of this random crap. I have so much, so much crap I pick up. Okay. Next map. Siege, number one. Moon Temple, number two. 
or a total number three. Tier five, tier four, and tier five, respectively. Are we going to go and look at the atoll? I don't actually totally know what an atoll is. I know it has something to do with, like, islands and water. Might be something similar to an archipelago. The atoll is one of my favorite maps, also. Just because it's very simple. I like simple, straightforward maps. What can I say? Currency. Wait. Is there... Oh. Black Morgane. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, that was actually quite sad. I'm sorry that you're so pathetic. <laughs> Ooh, tubers. Lots of wisps. I say just ignoring all the, the monsters my totems are fighting. But I mean, that's what it, it means to be a totem build. Just you ignore everything except for the loot, really. Let your totems do their thing. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, whatever. So, like, a little bit more wisps, but it doesn't matter. Oh. This is why I like the blue wisps, is that's why there's so much currency just, like, dropping constantly, is because of the blue wisps, specifically. There we go. Starting to get the hang of this play style a bit. Oh, it's a blueprint. A two wing blueprint. With almost nothing in it. Okay, well, whatever. Probably still do it, just without revealing anything on it. Or whatever the rewards are. Since the rewards are kind of random now. Random rewards aren't so bad, though. Now it gives you a nice little mix. Certainly not as valuable as when alt-quality gems existed, but... Oh well. Not worth it. It's just a percent attribute helmet. Don't need you. Okay, and that is that map. Okay, Siege or Moon Temple next. Siege is one, Moon Temple is two.
this will be the last map choice to make between uh, Siege 1 or Moon Temple 2, and then we will do whichever one's left after that, and then I'm going to jump into Path of Building to just explain the change to the build. And do a proper build overview this time. Okay, going Moon Temple. Then we'll do Siege right after this. So I have my totems take care of all that crap. Trying to secure like the exit to the wildwood before I jump in. Ooh, wisp, 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 wisp. Yum. Primalist. Ooh, that is a max rolled projectiles gain damage as they travel farther. Interesting. Ooh, that's very well rolled and very expensive. Purposes of spawn have increased health. That's a maximum roll as well. Okay, let's see if I can get the 626 I need for the other one. This is mainly yellow wisps. Need to make sure I keep killing things for their wisps. That will help, but it's not helping how many of these are just yellow. Let me see if I can find some more blue somewhere. Oh, blue. Okay, yeah, I'll get it here. Yeah. Okay, that's all the blue I needed now. That's good. Ooh. Little lag spike there. Nothing to worry about. Okay, now I can go back to the merchant. By the this one? Yes, this is the max rolled one. Cool. Okay, lots of lots of currency wisps, lots of quantity wisps wisps. More quantity than currency though, right now. I spent most of the currency ones on those charms. If the charm's worth more than a few chaos, I'll usually pick the charm. Rather than just waiting on. Hoping that I get currency out of the wisps. Ooh, a stack deck. Nice. I wonder if stack decks are considered basic currency. Never actually thought about that. I've always considered them a div card since they're they give you div cards, but they're not actually div cards. They just produce div cards. Oh, <laughs> I was I was wondering what my why my tomes were struggling there. 
It's because when I teleport down like that, the the for some reason the skitterbots have to walk all the way around to find me. Okay, I'm going to do the boss now. That was nothing. That was a joke. <laughs> Go through, do just the majority of this. I don't care to clear the entire thing. I just want to clear enough that I feel like I've gotten most of it. I want to get my money's worth. Ooh, maps. Always good to have more maps. Uh, okay, I'm not going to go back for that portion up there. Screw that. Already got enough out of this map to call it worth it. And I'll go right back into the siege map. Why is this worth so much money? According to my price checker, this is worth a lot of money. It's saying 70 chaos for this. I guess because it has int and strength, which is really good for inquisitors, and also ailments are good. Okay. Well, I'll try 65, like it's suggesting. And this for 9. Cool. Into the siege map. Okay. Oh, India's Epiphany. Erupt in his epiphany with a max roll on intelligence. Pretty nice. It's not a good corruption, though, so there is that, but... Eh. It's a corruption. Okay, I uh, guess we'll do the Wildwood first, seeing as it's in the way. Down all those. I'll kind of protect me for a second while I look at all this shit. Oh my god, that's a max rolled mana reservation efficiency. Which is... Valuable on its own. Cover an ash. Instant leech. Totems. Oh, that's a max. Oh, totems taunt and they. Those both max rolled. Wow. Getting some really nice stuff. A lot of this is worth a lot of extra mo a lot of money. Wow. It's. Wow, I hope I have, like, I hope I get a notable amount of blue wisps here, because I need to come back and do that. Apparently this is the map for it. As many blue wisps as I can manage. Whoa. Lots of things dropping a lot of things. Tubers. I like tubers. They're tuberific. What's this? Oh, that's just a recovery well. 
Okay, I like Quant. I really do. But I need as much blue as I can manage. Re like, really, if I can find any... Oh. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> There's so many valuable charms. Is there any... This was on the edges here. Uh, I think I'm going to get, like, one charm, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Uh, what's what's actually... What's the most valuable here that we have? Probably the reservation efficiency one. Oddly enough, I don't think it actually is. I think this one, the uh, totem one, is actually the most valuable. Yeah, I can't get any more, so I'm going to have to call it there. And this one isn't worth grabbing. Okay. Okay. Oh, well. We got, like, one charm that's supposed to work 10c, so it's not bad. Hmm. I guess I'll just go blister and gold. So I think the blistering colds trigger after a certain amount of time or when you get near them. Critical strike chance is unlucky. Well, that's not actually not that dangerous to me, but it's still not as good as Raging Dead would be. Raging Dead's fine. Ooh, a prismatic catalyst. Fuck yes. That is really worth it. I might actually stop like next round just because of that. Just cuz like I can guarantee that that's worth money. Hmm. I am going things are going really easily right now, but no, I want to guarantee the 20c from the prismatic. It's better to have guaranteed money than to go for a little bit extra just because you might be able to get it and you probably can but it's still not worth gambling it i i don't i don't tend to gamble usually if i'm quote-unquote gambling it's because i know i am most likely to win Get him. Yeah. Cool. I wish I had more, like, AoE on the Wither, but it doesn't really... That doesn't make a huge amount of sense to do or anything, because the Wither's most useful against single targets anyways. Even though technically I could just generate Wither faster on large packs, but I don't really need that, so. Nice, but I don't need it. Ooh, lots of jewelers. Love jewelers orbs. I love how there's like small totems and there's like the big daddy totems.
But like we're slightly larger, and we can also can't move, but we can teleport. Oh, oh, you can just blow those up. The older totems can teleport. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. Ah, oh, I was hoping that the uh, the totems could wipe out the boss before <laughs> before he got his shield up. Oh, there we go. This is a really fun build. I'm really happy that it's starting to shape up and like. It has so much more power to gain, too. Like, this is its, like, well-functioning version. Like, this is its what's known as... This is what I would call its basic version. And then there's an advanced version that uh, I will eventually be scaling up to when I have money and... Money. <laughs> when I have money. Gonna make a bunch of chaos with the basic version, and then I go into advanced. And I'll show you the the basic and advanced versions when we're in the path of building in a moment. Because I have them divided up. I think that, yeah, that should be more or less everything now. Yeah, just this stuff, really. Okay. Gotta look at all that stuff later. Right there. Okay. So really quickly. We are going to go over the hex blast build now, like the function, like the good basic version. So let me just transition us over. And transitioning. Okay. Welcome to the Hexblast build. Hexblast totem build. Are we? Okay. So, we're just going to go over the build right now. The basic version of the build has 7.1 million DPS. Uh, cap resistance says 76% physical damage reduction. Uh, it has no real mana to speak of, but it has energy shield to cover it. 4,000 life. Generally, that's all about it. Uh, the mana is technically in the negative because the damage is technically slightly lower because you don't have unbound damage. Okay, so it's 6.8 for the basic version. So with the basic version, you have uh, a Tripanon just to work with the Sandstorm Visage, which gives you critical strike chance for your spells equal to your main hand weapon. So I have a 100% chance to crit with it. We have the Covenant, which gives you the added chaos damage, which just is a big, big punchy thing. We have the Phenomus's Weave, which gives you Aspect of the Spider, which slows and weakens things around you so that they take more damage. Plus, Phenomus's Weave itself means that you take or you deal more damage to things with spiders, spider webs on them, which build up over time. We have basic boots here for resistances. We have Marlene's Fallacy, no anointment. We have Profane Proxy, just to uh, transfer our cur curses. We have our Despair in there. We have a basic resist ring. Uh, we had to double up on fire just because we were running out of resistances, <laughs> basically. Uh, we have a Magnate here, 
Uh, it has att attribute qual quality on it. You can just ignore that. It doesn't matter. We have our basic life and mana flasks. Then we have a granite flask with increased armor and a sulfur flask with increased cast speed. Looking on the granite flask, we go from 76 to 88% physical damage reduction. Looking on the sulfur flask, we go from 71, uh, 7.1 million to uh, 8.1 million DPS. We also have a tincture running, which is an ironwood tincture. Uh, I don't know for sure if the damaging hits always stun en enemies that are on full life works for Hex Blast, but I've selected this just as its thing to start with. We'll see how that goes. None of the implicits are really good for it, honestly, because it has most of what the implicits are to give inherently. Uh, it has Penetrates, Chaos Resistance, and Crit Multi against enemies on full life, just because there isn't really any suffixes that are amazing for it. We have Forbidden Flesh and Flame here, which have Sanctuary on them to give you Consecrated Ground, and also so monsters take more damage from it. Uh, we have Apex Mode just for more damage. We have our Clusters, which I'll go into in a moment, and Careful Planning, which gives us more decks. So, going over to skills, this is how you build the build itself. You start with this, this section here, to the starter area, complete the entire starter area, then rush over here, pick up Devotion, rush up to Ancestral Bond, pick up Ancestral Bond, grab Primal Manifestation as well as its Mastery, grab Purity of Flesh, and then by that time you're going to start to have auras, so grab Sovereignty. You can skip Arcane Capacitor to later, till you have your first Ascendancy. We have Arcane Potency here. We have, Then we have Heart of Darkness, which you'll take after that. Disciple the Forbidden, once you actually have... Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, Fluff, I forgot something. Oh no, because this gives you a plus one of M power charges, and you don't have that. You need an extra power charge to do that. Because currently you only have four. Oh, shit. Uh, that's a problem. Okay, well, we're going to pick that up, and it's now a level 92 build instead of a level 90, which kind of sucks, but I'll have, I'll just have to work out the kinks on that. Um, I'll take off the charge mastery, which is just for damage. So we're about to 7.1 again. With the level 91 build. Uh, oh, and then the caster mastery here is just for damage, so I'll take that off too. Uh, you will at some point, and this is probably going to be before you take most of everything here, is you're going to rush over here to Eldritch Battery. Because once you have all your auras up, you're going to need Eldritch Battery to actually give you some energy shields. Uh, but that most likely won't be till in your, your in your 60s. Grab all this stuff whenever you can. The dual socket lasts for only when you need the dexterity. Uh, at this point, you're going to want to start to grab the tireless wheel, the sanctum of thought wheel, and the faith and steel wheel. Uh, you'll be about end game at this point, so you can either go towards your clusters if you have enough money, or you can go towards your constitution wheel and your iron wheel, both of which are good. We have our apex mode here, where we also have a reservation jewel in our advanced version. And then we have our clusters here. Now, ah, one second. I'm going to go into do not disturb mode. Cool. So for our clusters, we have a large chaos cluster, which cost about 60 C. Uh, we have Wicked Paul just for damage. We have Touch of Cruelty, where it hinders things on hit, chance to hinder things on hit, plus hindered things take more damage. And we have Unholy Grace for just flat damage. Uh, then we have our Totem Utility cluster, which has Snaring Spirits, so totems hinder enemies near them when summoned to synergize with Touch of Cruelty. 
And we have Sleepless Sentries, which give you Onslaught when you summon a Totem, which gives you lots of movement speed as well as lots of damage. You can avoid taking the two jewel, the two jewel sockets till you actually have your Forbidden Flesh and Flames. After that, you have your Chaos Dot Cluster. The main function of this is to get Internal Suffering, which is inflict Wither for two seconds on hit if there's five or less Wither debuffs, so it can bring you up to six Wither debuffs there. Uh, since each totem hits 1.3 times a second, and there's five totems, you're going to be seeing... What is that? Um, that'll be six and a half hits per second. So you're going to be able to inflict... You're be able to inflict about three withered debuffs a second on a particular enemy, if everything's focusing it. Uh, so it scales up pretty fast. You'll be able to maintain all the withered debuffs on this. And then if you use wither yourself, that will just go up. That, help, that helps start your withered, and then your your actual self-casting of wither will help you maintain at much higher levels. And we have septic spells just for damage. It just happens to be the best option in the cluster. Then we have our sentences here. So we have a uh, we have our hierophant. Wait, how did my the warden got unallocated? That's odd. That's not right. Okay, so for the ascendancy, the first and foremost, you're gonna want to get arcane blessing. Uh, your totems aren't going to be powerful enough that you're going to want the plus one to maximum summon totems for your very first sentency. This will give them the punch they need, plus like mana regeneration and stuff. Second ascendancy, pick up Pursuit of Faith for the plus one. Your totems are now going to be doing a lot more damage, so you want to scale them up with having more totems. Third is going to be Conviction of Power, because Endurance Charges really help you when it comes to just scaling your protection. Uh, these endurance charges here give you 16% physical damage reduction on their own. Plus, that also works against damage over time, since they're they're flat physical damage reduction rather than armor giving physical damage reduction. So they're really useful. Plus, power charges scale with uh, crit multi. And before you have the tripan, and these will also help with uh, just dealing damage. Uh, then finally, we have ritual of awakening, which is Damage, mana regeneration, which will help regenerate your energy shield, and just percent mana, or percent life regeneration, because that's good. Then we go over to our Warden Ascendancy, where you have Bark Skin, just because it uh, builds up armor over time on you. If you get hit, you gain evasion chance, but your armor goes down. Uh, based on, like, your, the bonus armor from Barkskin goes down. So, with without Barkskin, because we're at 76% physical damage reduction with Barkskin, if we turn it off, we drop down to 64. So it's about 12% of your physical damage reduction is from Barkskin. This assumes 8 Barkskin stacks. You go up to 10, but this is basically assuming that you've been hit once or twice since uh, like just on average uh just because i don't want to over assume the amount of damage reduction you're going to have because that can be dangerous then we have lesson of the seasons so 10 percent chance to avoid non-damaging ailments on you per bark below maximum so uh, on average, you're all, you're probably going to have like seven or eight barks, so you're only going to have like a ten or like a twenty to thirty percent chance to avoid non-damaging ailments. Uh, but because your bark is generally very high, unless you have like a very tank like run in and smash kind of playstyle, uh, you will not be getting bled, ignited, or poisoned very much, and if you do, it will not last long, which is really nice. Uh, if you like to just rush into things, you don't care how many times you get hit, then you will have a better chance of avoiding non-damaging ailments instead, which is just as good. Then we have our coated blade, just so we have tinctures. 
like the uh, tincture we have here, the Ironwood tincture. And finally, we have the Oath of the Magi. So what we are using from this is we have no gems in our equipped gloves. So we have 25% increased maximum life, which is nearly 400 life and 50 life regen. And we have no socketed gems in our boots. So we have 30% increased movement speed. Our movement speed is 77% with this build because we have 30% from Oath of the Magi. We have 30% from our boots. And we have 20% from our uh, onslaught that we get from Sleepless Sentries, our totem notable right here. Uh, technically, this is a little bit below, that adds up to 80. This is 77 because we have, uh, where are they? We have uh, armor boots. So... Armor generally will, armor bases will generally reduce your movement speed in exchange for being, giving you lots of physical damage reduction. So that's why it has reduced movement speed. Okay, now we are going to, since we've gone over this, uh, since we've gone over the tree now, we are going to swap over to the advanced set of items and the advanced tree. So this is going to be a much more expensive version. Uh, currently, this the basic version right here is... I'm going to say about 500C for the Covenant. Another 200 for the Sandstorm Visage, so 700. 20 for the uh, Tripan and 720. Uh, well, it's only like 10 for the Phantom Mrs. Weave, so let's say 730. Uh, another 20 for the Boat, 750. Uh, just 5 for the Marlene's, 755. Uh, 45 for the Profane Proxy, up to 800 Chaos, 900 Chaos. Uh, the Forbidden Flesh and Flame, the set of them, is going to be 400 Chaos on their own, so it's 1300 Chaos right there. And then another 100 Chaos for all these clusters. Actually, no, it's going to be 150, so about 1450 Chaos. Or... At this current time, that would be closer to like 7 div to make this build work. Uh, you don't need the chest plate, which is 3 div of it. So you can get by with about 4 div ish, about 800 chaos. But, general, but generally, to get this damage, you're going to want to have the covenant. This is not a leg start build, this is not a cheap build. This is just meant to be a good build. Uh, the basic gear is meant to just make this, like, functional for this level of DPS and this level of defense. So moving to the advanced gear and the advanced tree, we jump up from 7.1 million DPS to 10.7 million DPS with the swap over. So as for the differences in the tree here, there are not many. Uh, all that we really have done is i don't know why that's unchecked uh all that we have done here is we've added the shaman's dominion wheel and the arcanist domain arcanist dominion uh notable we've added the charge mastery back for damage and we've added the caster mastery back for damage that's it and this is level 99 is what it's set for if you chop off the this you get up to 97 this is only 600,000. It's not that big a deal. You can save two points if you want by uh, by getting corrupted Sandstorm Visage with power plus one to power charges. That is an option. Uh, Sandstorm Visage being that it is a div to start with is going to be very hard to get that, so I don't even have that included. Because I haven't even checked how much that's worth. Because I assume it's ridiculous. Uh, so we have here the change with the covenant is we have a corrupted plus two to level of socket AOE gems. This this particular thing, a six linked covenant with the plus two to socket AOE gems. You're looking at about eight div or sixteen hundred chaos just for the chest plate. 
Uh, it is not cheap, but if you get it, it gives you an extra million and a half damage. I will be going for this and getting it uh, within the next couple weeks. Uh, Friend of Mrs. Weave, uh, we got the corruption with cast bead on it. It's just a nice little uh, bump to your damage. If you want and can get it, you also, in addition to getting the cast bead, you can also go for a just random curse. Uh, the benefits of having a random curse on this means that uh, if your skitter bots don't get to something, your hex blast will still be doing area damage based on things already being cursed on hit, or if your skitter bots run away to go to a different pack. So that can be really useful. And being that Phenomus's Weave is only about 5 or 10 C to begin with, that's more reasonable to get. Then we have Suing Exarch and Eater of World Boots, just increase life regeneration rate, just to up our life regen, and damage per endurance charge. Then we have Marlene's Fallacy with Disciple of Slaughter. Technically, Surveillance is more damage. Because this is 707 and this is 6... I think this is like 680. Um, surveillance does do more damage, so you could pick Surveillance, which is also a cheaper node. But if you uh, manage to kill something and get another in a Frenzy charge, then your damage suddenly goes up, because I have it set just the one minimum. Yeah. The damage is... It's a 700,000 damage increase. Also, why did my damage go down? What did I just do that fucked that up? I don't know what I did. Okay, well, it'll it'll figure itself out. I'll I'll remember what I did at some point and I'll just fix it before I output the version. That's fine. But yeah, we have a uh, disciple of slaughter here. It is very good because it starts a little bit lower than Surveillance, but it gives you the ability to get two extra Frenzy charges, so that can be really nice. It tends to scale up quite well, and if you, let's say, were to get your Ironwood Tincture here with a chance to steal Frenzy charges on hit, then from Monsters, you could also be getting some really nice beefy power in maps, which is great. Uh, moving on, just normal profane proxy. Uh, we swapped up to a different resistance ring. This one has prismatic catalyst on it. You don't need all 20%, uh, but this does give you more chaos, da chaos damage protection, which is good. Uh, this is just to make your life a bit easier. We have we now have attribute quality on magnate. We had technically we had it before showing, but I mean now is when you'd actually do it just for a little bit extra strength and health. Uh, and then now we have our advanced duel in place of apex mode, which gives a little bit of reservation efficiency. So the reservation efficiency of this gives you the ability to run unbound ailments here. Which is about 400,000 DPS. Not a giant, giant difference, but it's nice. And those are the main differences between them. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've done anything, yeah, I haven't done anything to any of the other stuff. Uh, oh, I did add a Harvest Enchantment to Tripanon uh, with a 28% quality either from corrupting it. Uh, with a bestiary craft, corrupting it normally, and then using tainted armor scraps, or through using a hillock weapons quality enchantment, which you can get from uh, fortification, either fortification or transportation, and syndicate. I can't remember which one, but it's one of them. You can look that up pretty easily, though, on the POE lab site, because it also has a uh, syndicate cheat sheet, if you want to look up that. I probably will just go for the cheap um, corrupt something to 30% with uh, 
bestiary that has a hundred percent chance of success, one hundred percent chance of success without bricking anything. And I just didn't add the last thirty percent or the last two percent because it doesn't matter because it's only AOE per four percent. Now we'll just go look at our skills here. So our tripanon is a six socket, but not a six link, which reduces the price of it a lot, thankfully. Uh, we only need a four link here, which gives us uh, flame dash and faster casting portal and wither. You don't need to have your portal in your main hand. You can always put that in your off hand or not in your off hand in your uh, alternate weapon swap. But I don't I don't like putting portal in the weapon swap, so I just have it here. Uh, the faster casting is specifically attached to wither as well because the faster that you can pulse out those wither debuffs, the better. A, the more that you can do while just like running around, where like you stop for a second, cast for like maybe one, maybe two seconds, and then run away, it gets out more stacks faster, so you can maintain it a lot easier. The uh, maintain the maximum wither stacks, and if you can maintain the maximum wither stacks, because all of this damage is based on six, which is the amount that you can get by naturally your totems attacking. If you can get it up to 15, you jump from 9.5 to 5 million to 12 million. The difference is staggering if you can manage it. Also, with the Ironwood Tincture, we do technically have... Uh, uh, the first hit will technically do an extra 1.2 million damage. But, I mean, that's not a huge deal. So we have the other two sockets in the Tripanon. They're just for Molten Shell, and which we have on our left click, and Determination. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Uh, since we're only doing three blues and a white here... Technically, you can do three blue, three red on the tripan, which is really easy to get, which is why I've set it up this way. Uh, then the helmet, which is a pure blue helmet, only needs to go blue. So you have summon skitter bots with its unbound ailments, as I was showing you earlier. And we also have the Righteous Fire and Vol Blight. So this is only for if you want to activate Vol Righteous Fire, if you feel like you're safe enough to do so, or you're comfortable with the risk, you can activate that, and it increases it, what is that, uh, 1.8 million DPS increase if you can use the right, Fall Righteous Fire, which is very nice, especially if you can use it before your first hit, and then you get an extra 800,000 on the, uh, on the uh, crit multi from your tincture. You can also activate Vol Blight fairly often, which is another 900,000 damage increase. Just because uh, debuff, uh, hindered enemies have 20% increased uh, chaos damage taken. So if you can just Vol Blight something, it'll take a bunch of extra damage for about... I mean, it's technically, the secondary duration is 3 seconds, but... I think it's going to be a little bit longer than that, maybe like 3.5. That's something that you do have options for, both of those. They're just buffs you can swap on when you need them. But generally, this is a two-button build. You have your Wither on right-click, and you have your Hex Blast on... or your Hex Blast Totems on your... either your 1 or your Q, however you have it set up, your very first slot. So for Hex Blast Totems, we have multiple Totem Support and Spell Totem Support, because those are basically required. Uh, we have increased Critical Strike damage, because we have maximum Critical Strike chance, so just any crit damage we have is just increased damage. Actually, actually that's, that's, that's more damage, technically. So that's 148% more damage, technically. Which is one of the reasons why this build does so much damage, because this, this gem alone is 2 million damage. Uh, cruelty here, which is more damage with hits. Then we have a variable gem here, which is hypothermia and void manipulation. So 
the better one of these two options is void manipulation, not hypothermia. Uh, hypothermia gives a chance to freeze, but that doesn't matter for this build, because this build freezes always. Uh, Hex Blast has this cool ability where all damage can ignite, freeze, and shock. Uh, you, because you always crit, have a 100% chance to freeze and shock. So you will always freeze things, you will always shock, so hypothermia doesn't benefit there. But it does deal okay damage. Uh, the main reason why I have hypothermia here instead of void manipulation is purely just because I often play with someone who does a flame link support. And with void manipulation, you ca can deal no elemental damage. So void manipulation is better. We will, I'll show you right now. So we're at 9.5 million. If I swap out from hypothermia, we're at 10. So it gives an extra 500,000 DPS over hypothermia, but you can't have any added elemental damage from anything. So aura bots, flame link supports, uh, huck with uh, a weapon that gives added flat damage, or any auras with added flat damage, or any elemental damage. So if you know that you're just going to be playing on your own and you don't need any elemental damage from anything, you can use Void Manipulation, that's fine. But otherwise, I use Hypothermia for group play. And in the end, we have our boots. No. We have our gloves and our boots. Both are empty because of the Warden buff that we get from having nothing socketed into either of them. That's the build. Honestly, I'm really excited to keep playing it. I'm at the point where I'm going to swap this back. I am at the point where I'm partway between basic and advanced now. Uh, I've started to grab some of the advanced stuff, but like the really cheap advanced stuff. But my main bet thing I'm going for right now is to get to the Covenant, which will give me a lot more damage. Uh, the difference between the rare chest plate that I have in game right now and running the Covenant. This is how much damage I, I, I am missing out on right now. Because we're at 6.8. Drops down to 4 million. So almost half of my damage is being lost because I don't have the Covenant right now. So my damage is going to spike a lot soon. Once I have that, then I'll be successfully jumping into the advanced section. And that's when I'll be going for like the big fucking damage. And I intend to get this build well over 10 million. And it bursts over 10 million easily. But I don't, I don't like to include burst damage in the damage that I have. Because, for example... We get a ton of burst damage from both Vol Righteous Fire and Vol Blight, but you can't use Vol Righteous Fire if you're in danger and like you have no health flasks, and you can't use Vol Blight if you don't have the souls. And both of those have, <laughs> both of those have their own issues. So you can use them and they'll do extra damage. And in a boss fight, you will encounter a number of chances to use them, but. None of them are reliable, so I don't include them. The same with uh, the damage on full life thing here, which I don't include, because the, you're only going to get one hit on full life. So it's, I, I don't count that. Because you're if you're in a boss fight, you're probably going to hit something like 600 times. So the da extra damage to one hit doesn't matter. And that's only one hit for one of your... Uh, your totems too. So it's not even as high as it looks. Which is why I've been kind of bouncing between using uh, Crit Multi and uh, Steel's Frenzy Charges. Those are just kind of the two options. But yeah, that's the build here. So if you want to try this build out, I would heavily encourage it if you have the money already. Uh, it's not a League Start build. Unless you're confident you can make a lot of money very quickly. Uh, you can theoretically League Star start it, but it will suck. Uh, that's why League started the Holy to Flame Totem build, because the Holy Flame Totem build was a lot more reasonable for its price. 
uh, link in the description to that. So that's generally what I would see suggest. Okay, so now we are going to head back to some gameplay in a second on Twitch. Uh, for the YouTube people, thanks for watching. Okay, we've transitioned back to Path of Exile. So we're nearing the two-hour mark, which means that I want to take a quick intermission. Uh, we aren't going to go for super, super long more after this, but I, I want to do some more maps with y'all, because honestly, this build's fucking amazing. It's really fun, and I cannot wait till I have the Covenant. Like, that's, that's all I'm doing right now, is I'm just trying to gather enough money that I have the roughly 500 chaos for the covenant thankfully i have two exalted orbs here now which will be about how much are they each right now 13c each plus another prismatic which is 18c so and i almost have a 200c worth of deck decked here too so i'm trying i'm getting there but it is a bit rough <laughs> okay so we're going to go on a quick intermission, just uh, about five minutes, and then we'll be right back with some more gameplay.
Welcome back, everyone. What do we still have here? Wow, prismatic catalysts are expensive. Okay, so we're going to get back to doing some mapping. It's a higher tier map we can do. Throne Ruins, Iceberg, Sepulcher, Carcass. These are all the new ones. Okay, I should be able to do all of these. Okay, so, who, who wants to decide on maps? So we have four maps that we haven't done yet. We have Overgrown Ruins. We have Iceberg, Tier 9. Sepulcher, Tier 9. And Carcass, Tier 10. Which ones should I run? Type number one for Overgrown Ruins, tier eight. Type two for Iceberg, tier nine. Type three in chat for Sepulcher, tier nine. Or type four in chat for Carcass, tier ten. Okay, four it is. Should I? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a Maven for this. I'll do that. So I have the uh, Pact with Energy again. This league, which is just extra resistances, damage, and movement speed for each sulfite you pick up. So anything that I think might have any amount of challenge, I'm just going to use Nico on, just to make me stronger and faster. Unless it's a tier that I know I otherwise will not use the, the missions on, and then I might just use it to be faster. Okay, currency wisps, currency wisps, currency wisps. Collect all the currency wisps. What's going on here? Porcelain Queen. Uh, where can I? Oh, this is all pink. I want. Blue or yellow wisps, ideally. Oh, there's more blue. Oh, Brian King. Hi, Brian King. Uh, who's doing that? You! Fuck. Chaos damage. It's a Brian King touched one of those stupid sorcerers that summons frogs and flowers that all do chaos damage. I hate those normally. Having it being god touched is not cool. Rude. One second. Made some tea over the break. Cuz taking care of my voice. Ah, T, how I love you. Ah. I'm sorry, I poked my mic. <laughs> okay. Well, we're kicked to the wild wood, unfortunately, but whatever. Never been a huge fan of those uh, one life zones, like the. Uh, like the labyrinth or that, but whatever. It hasn't really been too much of an issue for me this league so far, just because my builds have been either 
very durable. Oops, not that. Okay. Or have just been like really punchy so that everything has just died before it's mattered. Oh, I love Freeze. It's so good. Also, I can just, like, drop the totems and then run away. I don't have to stay for whatever's going on. The more time you spend near the monsters, the more trouble you're likely to have. So I just run away before the monsters even notice I'm there. Or just run through them, and they're like, wait, what was that? Boom. <laughs> That's what I like. And I'm definitely going down those other hallways, because that means that the, I'll be farther away from the monsters, and not because I'm accidentally running down them. I, I'm totally accidentally running down them. I don't know, because like, I'll keep doing this, like, I'll drop totems to def defeat something and run over here, and that's not intentional. That's just, I'm going the wrong way. It does look like I am, like, cool and doing smart gameplay, though, so let's just pretend that I'm awesome. Oh, gosh. Okay. Right, yes. I forgot about this shrine, the Hasted Shrine. Holy fuck. Oh my gosh, with Nico and with the Hasted Shrine, I'm so fucking fast. Woo! Oh, I see the boss room. Blow up the boss, blow up the boss, blow up the boss. <laughs> oh, that is a good use of a Hasted Shrine. use up as much as I can before I, it runs out. Okay. Now where are those currency items I walked past? There. Don't need a small amount of rogues markers, though I do want this. Cool. Thank you for the zealotry, Huck. It is unfortunate that I am done here, so goodbye, Huck. <laughs> okay. Three more maps in this selection. Either we're going to do... Ty type your suggestion. Do you want one Overgrown Ruins map tier 8, uh, two Iceberg map tier 9, or three Sepulcher map tier 9? Okay, we will go for Overgrown Ruins, then. Also, if anyone else is watching and wants to contribute, you are welcome to voice your opinion, too. I will try to split it up between different people who gets to choose. But otherwise, you got the Monopoly, Ron. So if anyone's watching on YouTube and wants to... Uh, make decisions, you can come join our Twitch chat for our regular streams on Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. EST, or Eastern Time, as other people would might call it. Also a reminder to follow the channel if you haven't already, so you can see more cool streams like these. Okay, give me some yellow and blue wisps. Oh god. The power's already gone to your head, don't lie. <laughs> um what is this? Oh, it's the It's the fake king. So there's oops Oh, he's Ritual of Dance. I fucked that up.
So the uh, King of the Mist just pops up on occasion. Uh, he's he, that's not the King of the Mist that we need. It's just a King of the Mist that exists. Um, he's just like, oh, I shall, I shall piss you off, and then I will run away back to my place. Uh, the King of the Mist stronghold is in a tier 14 plus map. I have encountered it before. There is a video coming out on the channel, um, either today or tomorrow, with uh, the King of the Mist stronghold. Which is not that one. Okay, who is this? Warden. What do you have for me? Hmm. One of these first two. That'll be the most valuable ones. These ones are eh. Wait, no, don't close that. I get both of them. Okay. And the rest of this will just go into quant for the map. And quantity is the most important thing. Wait, actually, hold on a second. That's a that's the warden there. So that means that there's probably another path going off of her, to that has yellow. No, okay, never mind. Okay. I really would like it if I could find a granite flask. That would be really nice. I keep finding everything but. Eh, but. <laughs> I'm mature. Next level. Come on, Skitter bots, keep up. That's what I was talking about earlier with the, um... With getting a a uh, curse on hit corruption with your gloves is like if your skitterbots just aren't keeping up sometimes like it is nice to have it is really nice to have a curse on hit too. Uh, I was originally considering mark of submission, but it just tanks your resistances because pro uh, uh, profane proxy has so much better uh, resistances on it because it has any resistances on it. <laughs> Also, I just kind of like how prox Profane Proxy plays. I find it's pretty good. Ooh, Scarab. Stairs! Ultimatum, nice. This is a tier 8, so I should be able to be fine doing the Ultimatum. I can push it for a little while. So it does kind of depend on the modifiers you get, but... Okay, survive. Monsters in rage after a time. Okay, Razor Dance, definitely. Okay. Just gonna do this bunker strategy. I'm just going to dump them out there. Technically, I know I can just, like, completely hide, but... Yeah, I don't evade anyways. But I don't really want to do that, because the monsters do enrage after a time, and I don't want to get murked by angry monsters.
this is kind of a good situation I have going right here, but I'm going to have an issue in a moment because the arena is going to get too small for me uh, probably next round because the arena is it's decreasing in size every round because of my uh um because of the uh passive the atlas passives i have because it gives me more uh power to do that uh oh this is i'm starting to take some real risks now uh I'm going to pick Blistering Cold, and I'm going to hope that I still have another round before I have to move. Fuck! I don't. I can kind of stay in the doorway now, but, like, that's not very good either. That's not, like, perfectly protected or anything. Okay, yep, no, goodbye. I love finding those little places to hide and destroying my totems out. That is very satisfying gameplay, <laughs> to be honest. I like it. Maybe because it feels like I'm beating the system. Like, aha! You cannot get to me behind this small doorway. I have a door. What do you have? Don't say Hulk, because I'm in trouble then. Wow, this guy is not lasting. Nope. Well, he will... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess whatever this, this these map modifiers are, they're just... Apparently he's very not resistant. He's very um weak to uh chaos damage apparently. Would have thought since he's a chaos build that he would be a bit strong to it, but nope. Nope, I need you. Throw you all away. Okay, next is either Iceberg Tier 9 or Sepulcher Tier 9. Iceberg's 1, Sepulcher is 2. Type your decision in chat. Okay, one is your decision. Iceberg it is. Then Subaltra will be next. Because numbers. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. I'll pick level four. No, I'll pick level five jobs. This will give me the best uh, uh, contract amounts. The amount, the rogues markers you get from a target in a contract is based on whether it is a um, moderate value, high value, precious, or priceless value, um, as well as whether it's level one to five of that job. So. Level 5 jobs at moderate, or at like, just like the base value moderate, are still better than at level 1 priceless. So that'll like guarantee them to be pretty, not guarantee them, but it'll make it pretty likely that you'll get a lot of points out of them. And my rogues are trying to level up, so... Yellow Warden 
going to come back once I have more yellow. There's lots of good yellow down here, but no, there isn't so up here. Darn it, I'm running out. Hey, right, back over here. Ah, yellow. Give me quant. Ooh, blue. Give me whatever the other thing is. Currency. I'll take tinctures. That was the troll shaman. I imagine he's supposed to be scary. Oh no, not the explodey guys. Okay, let's just grab a bunch of wisps. I'm going to run back over to the warden now. No, nope, not that way. Does she have anything valuable for me? Eh. 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 Okay, no, she doesn't. Okay, I'll pop out of the map. Give a trade. Uh... Then go right back in. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I always miss that bridge. I don't know how. Iceberg's a nice map, though. I do like Iceberg. Mainly because it's wide and open. Just like Glacier. It's nice to have, like, the big open maps. Hello. So I'll just go around the outside. Ooh, a unique arc in a strong box. Don't see those very often. What is this one? Oh, it's corrupted, okay. Oh, it's the pirate one. Well, I have Wither. Oh, no, leave me alone. Yay, lots of pirate stuff. Luring Ambush. Open a unique strong box. Cool. Don't say no to that. Why am I so slow? Oh, everything's maiming me, I think. Rude. Uh, because you gave me very good loot last time, that's why I bother. Uh, blistering cold. Oh, stone circles. Okay, I should make sure to actually check what the challenge is before I do them. Because I don't remember to do that usually. Stone circles are dangerous because you have to stand in one particular... Or not stand, but like walk in like a one little circle. Which I don't really like. You can walk out of the circle, which is fine, but uh, I don't know. I don't like it. It's much harder for me. 
as like a squishier character. It's going well though. Monster unaffected by curses. Fuck that. How about not that ever? That would be a bad thing for me. Which is why I'm not gonna do it. Ah. Blistering cold everywhere. You know what? I don't I don't like this setup at all. So I'm just gonna grab this and leave, because fuck that. There's absolutely no reason for me to risk anything if I'm not getting some sort of decent reward. And nothing was popping up that I really was like, yeah, that's exciting. Give me an exalt or prismatic catalyst or something, maybe, and I'll care, but. Oh no. Not that. Okay. One of these is the boss. Probably this one. That, definitely that one. Get purity. Oh, Veil Chaos! Nice! Those are actually worth a fair bit, I think. No. Oh. That map felt very fast. How much are these worth? Ah, eh, only 6 CA. Only six chaos, but whatever. Still a new thing. Ooh, Rectin' Nest now. That's nice. Got another one. Surprise, we actually have two options. Your options are Arachnid Nest Tier 8, Arach Sepulcher Map Tier 9. Yeah, I can do that. And this one should be fine too, okay. Sepulcher it is. Do 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 do. Yeah. Something just occurred to me. I. I mute sometimes in OBS when I need to cough or whatever. I hope that I don't need to hit the transition button when I do that, because otherwise, uh, y'all have been hearing me cough a bunch. <laughs> like, just now, for example. Uh... I would assume you don't have to, but I, I just hope you don't have to. <laughs> Ooh, yum. Wisp, wisp, wisp. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I have one perfect. That's worth like five chaos. You, you look new. Oh! The frozen cannibals become empowered if there's a fiery cannibal near them. That's cool. Spectres with actual synergies with each other? Like, intentional synergies? Wow, that's cool. Not that I really do spectres for the most part, because they seem kind of annoying to... 
maintain the right specters when you want them, but... I mean, who knows? They don't, they don't seem that bad, maybe, if you can buy them, but... No, 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 no. Don't blow me up, please. I have so much to live for. I have 71 wisps. No, I don't, it doesn't matter that much, but I would prefer to get to 92 eventually. I mean, I will once I actually have more damage, but I want to get there sooner. <laughs> uh, okay, vulnerability curse effect. Mm. So this lasts for the entire map. 100% increased cur movement speed, 150% increased effect of curses on you, curse by vulnerability. Uh, the map doesn't have any curses on it, so it's just to be the vulnerability. Uh, take increased physical damage. Attacks against you have a chance to inflict bleed. Well, I, currently I have a 0% bleed duration with, with 10 bark skin. And I have a 90% physical damage reduction right now. So I think I'm going to be fine with vulnerability right now. Ooh, this is nice. I like moving fast. I have to be careful of the necromancer mobs, because they can cast curses on me. And those curses will be, like, super dangerous. Or, like, at least way more dangerous than usual. Usually they're not too big a deal, but... Zoom. <laughs> Force car noises. Well, my quartz flask is going, so I can run through enemies still. And I'm moving fast enough that things don't seem to be seeing me, or at least where I am. Zoom! 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 The only thing is I can't really use Wither right now! Because uh, if I slow down, I'm probably going to get killed by something. Except I can probably do that, because permafreeze! Fuck yeah, permafreeze. Okay. Still just one map to do. Okay. Do we have any cool div cards? No, we don't have any cool div cards. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Sure. I'll barn a Nico mission. I'm sad because there there goes my hundred percent speed, but oh well. Ooh. Immediately I can see all the sulfite veins. Okay, so that is a ton of movement speed, a ton of damage, and a ton of resistances now. I move very fast with packed with energy on. I'm seem to be relatively durable too, even though I'm like literally running through packs of monsters. Because I'm just like moving really fast, I'm like you can't catch me. <laughs> I mean that might bite me in the ass at some point, but we'll see.
Eh. Lots of explodey things. Whee! Oh, harvest. Awesome. Hi, Han. Have fun with your cat fem boys. No, I know you actually have cats. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just being me. Eh. Eh. Leave me alone. Eh. Did I get everything I needed from here? I think so. I think think I'm good. Why? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Oh, I don't really like this setup. Uh, Stormcaller runes, I guess? I don't like Stormcaller runes. Can I, like, dip in and dip out? I think I can dip in and out. I don't like I don't like the options it's giving me. <laughs> These options are bad. Whatever, it's just survival, so as long as I hang out over here, I'm probably fine. Just don't put a storm collar rune on me and I'm good. Let's say that. Okay, I don't evade anyways. No! No! Okay, this is probably my last round. Ah! Okay, no, I have to leave there. Okay, nope, nope. Uh, wow, that's a absolutely worthless mark of submission! <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I won't take the bricked mark of submission. Ooh, currency. I did get a fair bit of yellow wisps. Blue wisps. You get to see a bunch of stuff. Did that die or did that go under? I think it died. Ooh, huck. Huck, huck, huck. Nope, stop chasing me. Empowered apparitions suck. Because <laughs> you can't kill them, and they're boosted damage. Loom Chamber. Whee. I love being fast. I am surprised they didn't nerf Pact with Energy this league. Because, like, Pact with Energy is so stupid good. Movement speed, damage, and max resistances. Just for hitting Sulfite nodes. Well, I'm going to abuse it thoroughly until they change it. Uh, it's good enough that there is no reason to choose anything else, in my opinion. 
even though I don't like I don't pick any of the other sulfite nodes and I don't do anything with the sulfite. It just gets erased every time because it's I'm well over cap. So like it's not functioning for its intended purpose, which I assume is to make it easier for delvers to do maps. It just exists as a way to make map art map people who are already good at mapping stronger. It does, however, help people like get through maps if they use it. So if you notice it's there. If you don't know it's there, then it's just kinda sad, but yeah. I mean I don't want them to nerf it or get rid of it, but It does seem very good for what it is, though. Non-microtransaction decorations. Um, I'm not aware of any new ones that are non-microtransaction, but that doesn't mean there aren't. Okay, is this worth anything? Maybe a C. Sure. I mean, most hideout doodads that are added are paid, so... I mean, I don't think they've added a free hideout in a very long time either, so... Where am I going? One, two, one, two. Okay, that's not faster. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's faster this way. I think. Or the same. Let's go around. Is that when we're done white maps now? No, so I'm missing port tier two. Oh, well, pyramid. Well, pyramid and port tier two. Port, 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 port. I don't want to do a Kyrak mission for something I already have. Okay. I might be able to get the port if I... I should have... uncluded non-unique maps. Oh well, I mean, I'll get it eventually. I'll do the Vault Pyramid as my last map. Since we've been going almost three hours now, so it's about time to call it. Okay, Wildwood. Only tier four, so I shouldn't shouldn't die here. Ooh. Wait, what? Nameless seer? What? Hold on. Oh, fuck off. Anyone else around here that wants to have a bad day? Hey, you won't have a bad day, apparently. 
You can have a bad day, and you can have a bad day. Okay, who the fuck is this? Nameless Seared. Is this feels like a thing. This feels like I'm gonna cause a thing to happen. Well, let's try it. Oh, purchase items. What? They just sell uniques? Oh, a heat shiver. Those are worth 9c. Doesn't you can purchase one item for all your current wisps. Oh. Oh, so this is just basic non-corrupted versions? Oh, Bound Fate! I haven't seen one of these before. They're not really worth much, but they're really weird. Every five seconds you gain one of the following. For five seconds. Your hits are always critical strikes. Your hits, ag hits against you are always critical strikes. Hits cannot hit you. Sorry, attacks cannot hit you. Attacks against you always hit. Your damage with hits is lucky, or the damage of hits against you is lucky. So you got a 50-50 chance of something bad happening to you, or something good happening to you. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, so your hits are always critical strikes. That doesn't help me. Hits against you are always critical strikes. That's bad. Attacks cannot hit you. That's good. Attacks against you always hit. That is also good. That's fine, because I, that doesn't matter to me. Your damage with hits is lucky. That's good. Damage of hits against you is lucky. That's bad. Okay, so it's basically 50-50 for me, too. I'm still just going to grab the Heat Shiver, though, because it's the cheap option. Or it's the most valuable option, I should say, not the cheapest. Okay, what's here? Am I... Ah, there's the Warden. Okay, anyone? No, go away. Okay, you can all go away now, so I can try things. Let's see. What of these are valuable? This apparently... Apparently this is theoretically valuable, but I don't believe that. No, I think they're just a weird mix of modifiers. Uh, um... Nah. Okay, what do they want? Uh, Dead Eyes Lupine Charm. That would be this one. Okay, so I can sell the Heat Shiver a little bit later. Just that in my double tab. Back into the map. We haven't actually started the map. All we've done is the forest. Which I mean, I guess that's part of the map. I wish I had more light radius. I wish Light Radius was just not a stat in this game, and you could just have good Light Radius always. Like, I think it's it, they tried a cool idea, and it didn't really pan out, and then they never changed it. I mean, it does have some interesting effects, but like... I don't know, I feel like being able to see shouldn't be a stat you need to step back into. <laughs> At least the base light radius would be better if the base light radius was higher. So it's like only something you step in, yeah, 
spec into if you want something specific. Like, I do kind of like the fact that when you're blinded, everything goes darker. That kind of, that's kind of cool. But, I don't know. If you have enough light radius, then, like, theoretically, it could counter most of the blinds, if that's how it works. But that seems kind of stupid, because if you're blinded, you're blinded. Like, it doesn't matter how bright things are. Man, this room's really well lit. I can suddenly see things. No, it, it seems kind of silly. Okay. Ah! That almost went very badly. I think those things are just, like, shredding my totems. I wonder, like, my totems don't seem incredibly durable. Like, they don't seem as durable as the um, Holy Flame totems were. But I wonder if, like, am I just missing something in my stats, maybe? Or could it be because the Holy Flame totems are always on Consecrated Ground? Like, I don't, don't know if they benefit from their own Consecrated Ground. Maybe they do. Oh. I what what was the boss? <laughs> I, is it the thing still on the ground? Okay, well whatever. I don't do this map enough to know what the boss is. <laughs> I guess I guess the tones are just very strong. Okay, so minus the pier map that we're missing, we have all the white maps done. It's pretty cool. Nice to see. We have there's a website that can help with this actually. For those who care, I'll put it in stream chat. Huey map dot trade. Uh, it helps. Basically, it lets you trade maps of the same tier one to one with other people. Just in the game, like like if you list saying like, "Hey, I have this map and this map, and I need this map and this map," then people will trade you for those, and you can just do it without paying any money, or then paying any money. Really nice. I might actually end up using that for this link too. I mean, I probably will because it's really useful. And much cheaper because I don't want to pay money for them. Other people get good things too. Okay, so oh, we just broke the three hour mark for the stream. So for those on YouTube, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe would really appreciate that helps me out and you'll be able to see cool stuff that comes up we have a king of the mist the true king of the mist stronghold coming up soon as well as the hex blast build guide that we talked about today and yeah as for twitch